welcome to another edition of This Week in YouTube, the show that's already had six servings of eggnog so far today and is starting to think about number seven. I'm Lon Harris. And I'm Shira Lazar. Our top story this week, Lindsay Lohan posed nude for Italian fashion magazine Muse, which recorded this footage of the shoot. <laughs> In order to get into character for the short film, Lohan has spent the last several years getting addicted to drugs and not appearing in hit films. The video has been called the most accurate representation to date of a typical Saturday afternoon at Tiger Woods' house. So just how long have you been putting wigs on your cats? We've been putting wigs on them for years. Fascinating. They have their own dreams that just fit that particular cat and then when they put on that kitty wig, their own stories are played out. The ability to select a good wig will almost certainly come in handy once these cats inevitably murder their owners and take off for a life on the lamb. In need of some quality B-roll? We know just the place. Happy couple walking on the beach. We got that B-roll. Want that happy couple to kiss? No problem. Want them to get a little fresh with the lady? Done. Hey, you two, cut it out and stay at the ocean so I can get B-roll of that. That's better. You know, Shira, I uh, worked my way through college as a B-roll actor. Really? I never knew that. Yeah, you've probably seen some of my work. Ken, let's uh, roll that clip. Why would anyone need B-roll of that? Um, I guess you've never seen any Spielberg movies. Mariah Carey had the week's hot music video debut with Hate You. The video's likeness of Mariah Carey was created by James Cameron and cost $90 million. This is actually a real departure from all of Mariah's other videos. This time she's walking up the beach, not down it. After seeing the video, Tony Braxton said, Hey, that was actually pretty good. By the way, what the hell ever happened to me? To all my ladies out there, y'all need to learn more about gun safety. You know, I've always wondered about something. Why is it called a revolver? Because the cylinder, where the cartridges go, revolves. That makes a lot of sense. You know, ever since the NRA bought the children's television workshop, Sesame Street just hasn't been the same. What would the world be like if women were as horny as men? Gavin McGinnis investigates. Well, at least our show wouldn't have to change. Really? You think I'd have a lot of lesbian fans? No, instead of guys watching to gawk at you, it'd be girls watching to gawk at me. That's, that's what would happen, right? Mm. <laughs> so what else is in the news? Sam Rubin and the KTLA Morning News team are not big fans of blogger Perez Hilton since he bailed on an appearance on their show. Daily Morning News and yours truly have been here long before Perez Hilton upchucked his way onto the scene. Yes. And yeah. we will be here long after he slithers away. We will. Yeah. And when all the drama was over, yesterday Perez publicist called and asked if he could be on the show again. Absolutely. When hell freezes over. The biggest surprise in all this? Someone was interested in doing an interview with Perez Hilton. Hilton explained that he didn't have time to just wait around for his appearance, noting, these pictures of Blake Lively aren't going to hilariously draw come on themselves, sister friend. Beware the wrath of Tetrises, the god of Tetris. Hell, lock. Well, yes, of course, he can use that to plug the gap, but then... Then... The column would be... Unusable. And if you think that was jealous and wrathful, you should see what happens if he finds out you also have Minesweeper on your desktop. This video was produced by College Humor, despite the fact that 85% of all current college-age Americans think Tetris was the bad guys in the James Bond movies. 
You ever just stop and think about the internet? There is a man with strange thumbs. The internet actually belongs to、uh, 50 Cent. 50 Cent absolutely controls the internet. Look, those guys can think whatever they want. I'm still convinced it's a series of tubes. If you'd like to learn more about the internet, check out your local library, or I don't know, the internet asshole. Well, there's one story that's still dominating the news, and that's of course the mounting war in Afghanistan and the healthcare debate raging in the U.S. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. It's Tiger Woods. And though Tiger's infidelities are nearly certain to rip his family apart, that shouldn't stop all of us from having a good time at his expense with some musical parodies. Unfaithful guy of the year. He's had many transgressions, but he's not confessing to what we should hear. I wish all tabloids would get out of my life. And oh, I forgot to tell you. Cheated on my wife. In the interest of saving time, the media has announced that it will, from now on, be revealing the names of women Tiger Woods hasn't slept with. The list includes a grand total of 29 American women, plus one Lady Gaga. Oh man, we were just about to get through an entire episode without a Lady Gaga reference. So close. Well, that does it for this week in YouTube. For Lon Harris, I'm Shira Lazar, watching YouTube so you don't have to. Can you take your name? Lost your phone. My wife lost my phone, and、uh, she made me call. Take your name. Lost your phone.